Hello people, this is Gary Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about three healthy foods you eat and three to avoid. So if you like the video related to turtle health, I would like to request you all. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin this go. Three healthy foods to eat and three to avoid. If you're like most people who make a new year's resolution, you want to eat healthier, lose weight or both. And if you like most of us, your resolve has already begun to teeter. By February 1, the majority of weight-related New Year's resolutions have been defeated by unrealistic expectations, fat diets, the frustration of not seeing results, and a host of other factors. Don't give up. Make 2020 resolution the one that stick. It's easier than you might think, and the first step to getting back on track is focusing. Your next trip to the ghost grocery store on the best food for satisfying your hunger and cutting your cravings. Here are the foods you should favor and the foods you should avoid. Eat protein. Protein are the building blocks of your four bodies. They help build, repair, maintain our tissues. They strengthen our immune system. Most importantly for people trying to lose weight, proteins help you feel full after a meal and assist in maintaining your metabolism. This source chicken, eggs, and other poultry, seafood, plain uh, Greek yogurt, and cottage cheese, tofu. Avoid sweetened beverages, drinks that are sweetened with sugar or naturally sweetened. Provide little to no nutritional value. Instead, they spike your blood sugar and insulin response with a concentrated dose of sugar. That is quickly absorbed, leading to increased appetite and cravings. Worst offenders soda, juice, fancy coffee drinks, store-bought smoothies, alternatives whenever you find yourself craving a sugary sip, rich instead for a carbonated flavored water, likewise the rich flavor of coffee with heavy whipping cream or half and half can help you avoid uh, frappuccino withdrawal, but one of my favorite go-to is infused water in using whole fruits, herbs, and spices. So that try this recipe for a refreshing blend of uh, honeydew, cucumber, and mint. Eat non-starchy vegetable. Vegetables are wonderfully dense in nutrient, rich in fiber, vitamin, and mineral, while staying low in carbohydrate. In short, they fill you up with the minimal impact of on your blood sugar, why don't start your vegetable make the cut for one day pork or they pack triple the carbohydrate but not triple the good stuff. First, they are one of the easiest foods to over consume in frequency and portion. When was the last time you only had a half cup of corn and potatoes at a meal? Best sources asparagus, broccoli, brussels, sprouts, cabbage, carrot, cauliflower, celery, cucumber, eggplant, green beans, kale, lettuce, Takes breath, mushrooms, onion, pepper, spinach, spaghetti squash, sugar snap or snail peas, tomatoes, yellow squash, and zucchini. Suggested recipes are in hot roasted Brussels sprout and cold power blend tuna salad. Avoid added sugar. Extra sugar causes a surge in insulin and high insulin level cause your body to store fat rather than burn it. Refined carbohydrates also lead to a crash and burn effect as uh, blood sugar drop below the recommended range, leading to a bigger appetite and more cravings. Worst offenders, cereal, snack bars, sprays, sweetened yogurt, canned fruit, condiment and particularly ketchup, BBQ sauce, honey, mustard, french dressing and similar alternatives. The bad news, 80% of your food supply contains added sugar. The good news, it's all in the same place, typically the packaged good, dominating the center of your supermarket. That's why your best strategy is to shop the perimeter where you will be able to focus on fresh produce and natural wool food. Go in with the list and stick to it. Read labels, even products within the same family can vary wildly in their content. And uh, never show when you are hungry. Eat fat. Fat tends to get a bad rap, but your body needs it in order to absorb vitamin A, D, E, and K, not to mention heal wounds. Fat is also the slowest macronutrient to be digested. The other is core protein fat, so it promotes satiety and add flavor to food. The fat with the most protective health benefit are unsaturated fat, monosaturated and polyunsaturated. Saturated 
Farsa nor the enemy they have been picked as for the last 40 years consider them um, neutral fat the one type of fat you should avoid is uh, trans fat trans fat significantly increases your risk of heart disease with consumption so much so that the food and drug administration um, has ruled them no longer safe for human consumption and require them to be removed from the u.s food supply by 2021 best sources olive oil avocado oil and coconut oil nuts and seeds avocado butter suggested recipe low carb granola avoid refined grains refined grains have pretty much had any nutrient process out of them without the fiber they are digested it and enter the bloodstream rapidly causing that familiar spike in um, blood sugar and fat storing insulin worst offenders white flour bread pasta rice baked goods snack goods breakfast cereals alternative seek out low carbohydrate substitute that are similar in texture these pacify your senses by providing the same mouthfeel as a carb you are used to for example try swapping in uh, rice cauliflower for white rice it a main pasta for traditional white or wheat pasta and almond flour for white flour when cooking and baking so that's all about the fitness in this video i hope you all like it so before signing off i would like to request you all please do like share subscribe if you didn't do that so you will get my videos so that's all we will definitely meet in the next video with my another content till then god bless you take care of yourself Bye bye